First off, the bill that's before us simply disallows any adverse action against a teacher who refuses to use those pronouns. So the question that I have for you is, are you aware of the Tennessee Constitution, Article 1, Section 19, and the U.S. Constitution, First Amendment? Um, yes, I am. I believe those are entitled freedom of speech, are they not? They are. So if you visit adverse effects on someone who is being forced against their will to say something they disagree with, are we not violating their freedom of speech? I right would also then. say that, uh, you know, the important aspect, uh, as, as I understand it, related to freedom of speech is that we're also, and especially as educators, obligated not to do harm to our students. And uh, it's a part of our ethical duty as educators. And so this bill would allow educators to harm students um, and give them a free pass to do so. Follow up. Last question. Thank you. I believe the Supreme Court has ruled that forced speech is a violation of free speech. If you visit adverse effects on someone for not uh, saying something the way that you want them to, that is forced speech, sir. So therefore, protecting teachers who do not want to do this is not anything that I see as wrong. In fact, it's affirming First Amendment rights and Article uh, 1, Section 19 of the Tennessee Constitution, freedom of speech rights.